Yo, yo, man, yo, 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 man, yo, fuck with you, boy, you fan double seven, nigga, man, shout out to you, fan movement, nigga, what up, nigga, you good? QP on your QP, what up? What's good with them boys and girls? All right, now, your battle with you and JC, when, when is it exactly? October 11th, Tuesday, Black Guy's birthday. Private mm-hmm. invite only, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And it's in a cage match? It's in a cage. Oh, shit. I mean, I mean, is there anything different? Is it still three minutes, three rounds, or what? Yeah, three rounds, three minutes. We're only going to probably have about 50 people in the building. So, uh... Because, you know, it's a really enclosed space. But uh, it's, it's going to be monumental, though. Yo, my nigga, are you worried about JC? I think a pin game is fine, just like yours. A- absolutely, because I'm battling. I battled Fresco in, in two and a half weeks or three weeks later on King of the Dot in, in California. And JC, I don't think he has anything lined up this month. So it's like, I think he's battling less than me. You feel me? And then on top of that, he doesn't have a battle after me. So, yeah, I'm definitely a little bit worried in the sense that, um, you know, they need to come to come bring my A game. Like so I got the shit that I have for killer, which is rebuttals, freestyles, three rounds that I can interchange and make my first, my third, third, my second move rounds around, depending on what he's talking about to me. So, you know, these I do battles like these, I take them a lot more serious than when I battle an up and comer or somebody that's that I'm just doing it for the check so I can put some fucking food on my table or whatever for my kids or whatever the case. This ain't that. This is more like for the cage I didn't get my regular fee for this. You see me? JC didn't get his regular fee for this because this was told it'll be a private location. It won't be tickets sold at the door, none of that. So this is more like we did this for the culture. So it's going to be crazy. This shit going to be ridiculous, right? This shit about to be fucking crazy, you and JC. I'm going to talk to him. I'm going to talk to him. I'm going to talk to him. You feel me? I'm going to talk to him. You feel me? I'm going to talk. This is the thing. I want to let people know, like, I respect JC. Everybody loves JC. They, they, you know, people, they talk highly. They're fond of JC. But we've done it in real life with all the gangster shit he talk about and talk about you making hits off the, at the phone booth like Colin Farrell. Boy, you is not calling in no hits like Colin Farrell at the phone booth, boy. You feel me? Boy, you is not out here busting those straps, carrying up. So I want to just talk to him because he, he's one of the people like, you know, that doesn't really have to do the shit in real life and people believe him. So, like, that's my angle for JC. Like, I want to make people know, like, y'all believe him because he, he articulates so well, but nothing he's saying is official. So let's talk about it. You feel me? Let's talk about everything from A to Z. I'm trying not to, I'm not going to touch on the Chris Stokes video except for one bar because I have to. I got some crazy. But other than that, it's all real shit. Like, you know, how he takes uh, competition lightly. Like, like he chokes against the big competition or, or, or he'll battle people that he know he's going to beat. You know what I'm saying? Like his last six battles were all people that we know he was going to beat. And then he had classics with people that he was supposed to beat, like Mr. Mills. You're supposed to beat Mr. Mills. You're not supposed to have a classic with him. You know what I'm saying? You were supposed oh, to 30 wow. pass. You feel me? You were supposed to 30 pass. That's what, that's supposed to happen. You feel me? When he told me he 30 pass, I was just at a loss for words. Because I'm like, oh, you 30 pass? What's that? That's a loss for words. That shit crazy. You feel me? I'm gonna eat. <laughs> yeah. So anyways, um, so that, you know, I, also all I'm saying, like, just life in, in general, I'm going to talk to his soul. He's going to talk to my soul, too. You know, I got the scandals and shit. So I assume that he's going to talk about my eviction, me going house to house, my, my fake pimping on my real pimping, male escorting, uh, my baby mama, Maury show. I'm He's going to rap about all that. So, I mean, what else? You feel me? What is he going to tell me that I don't already know? So that's what this battle is about, about us deciding who is the top 10 because I, I think I moved past Chiller shit when I battled Chiller since I beat Chiller. I feel on every poll that they had, the comments, all of that. Right. You, me? Only you, you know what, though? And I, I haven't spoken to you since then. You ain't three. I don't know if you three older, my nigga. I don't think you three older. You two one them, I think. Okay, no, that's but that's fine, too, though. But yeah, I was that's saying, my opinion. A lot of niggas do have Chiller one and don't get it fucked up, though, my nigga. Yeah, the thirty seven percent approximately. Thirty seven percent. It's a that's a really good percentage. Sixty forty is kinda like you didn't lose. Your name is you could say somebody say he's undefeated. If you sixty forty every battle and you're the forty on the sixty, that's not really a loss. It's a preference at that point. I mean you came out, did your thing three rounds, and there's no way people can take that from you until we have judge battles. So I, I, I don't mind people saying Killer got me two one. You feel me? But I do mind people saying, you know, that, that he beat me clearly or some bullshit like that because he most definitely didn't. Especially not in the building too. You know what I mean? I'm used to winning on right. damage and dying in that building, and people talk about, oh, his bar's over the head. His bar's, though, bar for bar? I'm, I'm past that. I'm winning shit in the building now. That's, I don't like winning online only. Like, the camera wins is cool, but that shit only gets you small checks. I need the checks from being a performance of the night type shit. So, like I said, I, I really, uh, you know, value what JT is about to the game. 
and I'm mm-hmm. definitely taking this shit seriously. You feel me? I'm adding shit every day. I'm sitting there about to check into my four-star hotel, you feel me? Order some room service and get my mind right to be like, yo, I'm battling a nigga that they say is the greatest pen on earth, you feel me? So besides Lux, because besides Chilla, Daylight, Lux, me, it's JC, you know what I'm saying? So this is one of the matches I've really been looking forward to. So, you know, you won't see no choking, no stumbling, none of that shit, man. You about to just see a real punchline, you feel me, bar fest. Hey, yo, all right, you know what? What's crazy is that uh, you just say you got all these scandals. Like, how the fuck do you even keep battling when all this shit just keep coming out? Like, you got to have, like, I, like I you never wanted to quit. And be like, I don't, I don't, uh, make a left right here, bro, bro. I don't even know. Uh, we're going to Shaab, to the Weed Man house. Hey, show him how to get there. Oh, okay, okay, go ahead. Do your thing, do your thing, do your thing. I'm sorry, go ahead and say the, say the question again. No, nah, I was saying, how do you even continue when battle rap when niggas just, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, um, oh, yeah. I got so many skeletons in my closet. Yeah, it's crazy, bro, because that's how I lost the source. I lost the source in, in, uh, on King of the Die, even though the comments, you know, 64, whatever. I lost to him because he spoke about, you know, Scar, military ch- chick chasing me with the pistol, blah, blah, blah. So I just figure every battle, I got to just really focus on, like, having a good rebuttal for, you know, the bitch with a shower cap chasing me with my own pistol, whatever the case. You feel me? Like, and then. You know, whatever, oh, Miss Hustle shit. Yeah, Miss Hustle got into it. And, you know, whatever she made up. You know, I got to put up with all this shit. But I, I feel a lot of niggas kill themselves, bro, focusing on the bullshit because when they talking about pins and shit like that, just like when Chilla explained himself the whole second round about how he wasn't stealing bars, nobody really cared that he was stealing bars. They just wanted Chilla to spit. And when he started defending himself, and all, that's how he lost that second round clearly. So it's like I think that JC won't waste a lot of time Talking about Morris show, talking about the bitch chasing me, talking about this and that. I think he's gonna come with real bars and about how he's a better actual battle rapper than me. So you know, I anticipate you know his his moves before he actually makes them and stuff. So you know, this is kind of like a uh, like a final. So I'm studying. I study real hard for it. You know, what I'm saying I, I miss for this shit, and then I finally put my paper together. And you know, after having it reworded and and proofread by all of my fucking comrades and John Doe and my baby moms and my girlfriends and anybody that's around me. You feel me? Because I don't, I don't write with battle rappers necessarily. I write with people around me that like to watch it that don't rap. Because those are the people that are the consumers. That, that's what they want to hear. You feel me? The shit that I be writing is pretty much for nerds or, or bar fanatics. You feel me? People that really follow the culture where they'll be like, oh, yeah, you won that cue. And I'll watch the battle and be like, no, I clearly lost that. But the only people that would give me the W is a diehard, hardcore fan versus your average consumer that just clicks on the battle because it was suggested on YouTube. So that's the difference. The shit I'm coming with is, is universal worldwide versus my regular nerdy angles that I always take. You know what I'm saying? So. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Yes, sir. So you got JC and then you got Fresco and shit. Like, like what? What's the difference between um the angles that the, the rest of you want to take? Uh, because me and Fresco are not gonna have no personal. Like, you know no, what? Fresco. Did you just write mad bars or what? Like, like you be having all kinds of shit and you be having mad battles. How the fuck do you even do all that shit? Well, I mean, because I write a lot, so when I'm battling less, I'm still battling the same amount as far as writing and memorization because of how much bars I write, you know, and how much behind-the-scenes stuff I do for other battlers. So, um, like, something like this, battling twice in a month, that's that's a light, that's a light, you know, month for me. I'm battling the 11th and the 29th. You know, that's normal for me. I told you I get 15 under the battle, so I try to battle twice a month, get the little three racks a month, 36 k a year, non-tax-free, you feel me? So it's like, that's that's how I do it. Like, and then... I don't do bars that, that aren't for the person in front of me. Like, I don't have general bars where I can be like, oh, I got a vault of bars and I'm going to rap these against JC. No, my shit is all for JC. And if I forget it or choke or don't spit it, I can't rap it against Fresco two or three weeks later. It's all for him. So my writing process is I watch his latest and greatest battle, his first mm-hmm. battle when he came in, and then his most his, uh, his uh, most known, renowned battle that he's known for. So I can see him at his greatest. Like, man, this nigga's crazy. So, so when I think that my round is good enough, I go back and revise it because I watch this shit and be like, no, this nigga got no feelings. This nigga got no dry spots. This nigga got, you feel me? So you got to really study your opponent to the, to the point that you don't become complacent with the bars you have. Because the first shit that I wrote for JC about six weeks ago, that shit would have never fucking got past JC. Like, I'm rewriting shit, like, still as we speak because of how much I respect this bench. So you got to understand what kind of battle you're going to get. If JC comes with his A game, I promise you we will have battle of the year for that fact. Whether he wins or not, just if he comes with his A game, we will have battle of the year. So, how how you feel, Jesse? How you feel? I mean, I think you and you and JC, I think hands and shit. But I don't, I, I just don't think that. Uh, I don't know, man. I just, I don't, I don't like. I personally don't like when niggas take a lot of battles because I feel like 
maybe not you, but a lot of niggas just write a lot of general bars and then just go from battle to battle, like just spitting random bars. But, you know what I'm saying, your shit, you be kind of, you be going down at your opponent and shit. But, yo, let me ask you this. Yo, but. Um, it, mm-hmm. is, it, do you think, do you think that, like, like your your status could drop, like, with a win or a loss? Like, you think if you beat JC, it'll, like, boost your, your stock some? Nah, nah, just on a just on a ten list. Like it's not gonna raise my stock where I can get more money in battle. It's just if I beat J C it sends me past the level where we're at. We're, we're, we're mid tiers for life. Where it's like we can battle top tier a headline. But but eighty eighty, sixty, seventy percent of the time we're gonna be the, the name right under the headline. Like that's that's where our name is. The type of writing that we do well, it's really hard to become mm-hmm. top tier. That's not what top tier is. Top tier is not top tier. Top tier is top performer, top entertainer top person that reaches to the crowd and, you know, expands upon the crowd to where they're crowd favorites. I wouldn't say me and JC and Chilla and all of us are crowd favorites. No, we just see that everything makes so much fucking sense. If you don't like us, that's just because you're a hater. But you don't have to necessarily, we don't have to be your favorite type shit. So, and there's nothing I can do about so, it, bro. The way I write, I try so, to just come up with, with flash hits. So even if you Go win, that, I mean, that's fucked up. Even if you, like, really, really beat some one of them niggas bad, you don't think it would do nothing for you? Nah, just, nah, nah. I mean, not nothing. It'll do something for me in the sense that a lot of fans want to see this battle. So if JC come and choke, or I come and choke, we letting the culture down. But if we have a classic, he's still getting the same ticket he's getting after that. I'm still getting my same ticket. It ain't going to be much to it. You feel me? It's not going to be much to it. It's, that's what battle rap is right now. Battle rap is, is, is in a, kind of a dead zone to where, like, Unless a you know a breath of fresh air comes into it, this is where we at for right now. You know what I'm saying? But I just want to give a chance just because I know it's going to do 300,000 views on Black Ice Network. You feel me? I know people are going to rewatch it and rewatch it. It's a special edition shit where it's not at a regular battle. We in a cage. This shit is private. This shit is like really for the fans. So John Doe did this for the fans. So this is bigger than just a regular matchup for me. Same thing when I battle Fresco or King of the Dot. We both in your window. They've been wanting me and Fresco to battle for five years. All our, all the white fans. Been wanting me and Fresco to battle. You know, I got a big nerve fan base. So it's like they say, yo, QP Fresco. Nah, I can't do that to my brother. Nah, I can't do that to my brother. Oh, wait, we're going to go ahead and do it. So the fans is going crazy. JC versus QP, QP versus Fresco. This shit's going to be crazy. And then if I make a classic for both these dudes or edge them, if I'm going to beat both of them, my stock is still going to be the same. Just, you know, I'll be in contender for Battle of the Year. You know, I'll be in contender to just stay afloat and not go into the, what is that called? Troya Battle Rap, like a Mad Papa. Or, you know, people that have been doing this so long that they, that they, people have been doing this so long that they, they lose their steam. Yo, yo, man, yo, 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 man, yo, fuck what you want, you fan, double seven, nigga, man, shout out to you, fan, moving, nigga, what up, nigga, you good?